施华上下台阶时，请您注意安全，不要拥挤，避免踩踏受伤。请您优先照顾好老人、儿童和妇女，保持通道畅通。小时候跟爸爸一起去看嘛，完之后就被这种感情就迷住了，就感觉那种呐喊的太迷人了。他们训练的时候，等他们签名，会看来看望他们，完之后也给他们送点水什么的，会为他们说声加油。其实就是这么一种精神。其实我觉得输赢都无所谓，主要就是感情问题呗，就就是爱他们。我是因为喜欢郭安，觉得那个杨志特帅。谁特别帅？杨志。哈哈哈谢谢。哈哈哈现在我觉着啊，中国现在一直在引进好多好多比较比较牛的外援吧，比较牛的外援，嗯，中国足球也在发展。我希望我我也觉得啊，以后中国会走进世界，嗯，所以说，呃，不管您什么天也来支持一下吧。以后对于中国足球有什么？中国足球就算了吧。OK， 好，嗯，谢谢，谢谢，谢谢。凡你购买饮料，请您用完后再进入看台，请您自觉接受人身安检，配合安检工作人员。实话假话，讲实话，讲实话是吧？实话那就不一水温先生的，不一水温先生的。中国足球没什么，没真没什么希望。国家队现在还是基础建设这一块，我觉得还是像呃邓小平同志说的那样，从阿后抓起。我现在很大的一部分时间，你也知道，早上我上学要送孩子，对不对？那下午我要去接他，就是这个年龄段，就是说可以，绝对好的。就是就是从我个人来看啊，我觉得他因为提到职业队是绝对没有问题的，就是我个人的看法。当然，他有他有自己的理想。他跟我说了，就是 football is my life， 所以说这句话其实很打动我，你知道吗？因为他看了那个动画片，就是影响，他就是动画片那个，就是说
那个日本的动画片《足球小将》，他说，嗯、呃，足球是我的朋友，就是我每天就是抱着他睡觉，嗯、呃，做什么事情都会想着他，就是这样子。然后他受那个动画片影响，他就觉得，他觉得生活中一定要有足球，所以说足球是我的生命。他觉得，嗯、呃，不管什么情况下，他都有每天都会想着足球，就是是这个意思。对，所以我非常感动这件事，说明他是真心喜欢足球。哎，所以说我会就是支持他去踢足球，包括做我老婆的思想工作。嗯、<笑>那他现在？你最爱的那两个人是谁啊？嗯，我现在睡觉在哪里呀、啊？在房间里。那你告诉他们，你在哪一个房间？在小房间。那你带他去。嗯。这是什么？嗯、这是。你的 idol 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 是哪一个？<笑>告诉他们哪一个是梅西啊？哪一个是梅西啊？啊，梅西，那、啊、还有一个呢？这是谁啊 ？C 罗。C 罗啊。比较有可能就是说，为了就是说踢球的话，就是说我就是说就是放弃了一些事业吧，可以这么说。如果对，如果说他，就是说，他如果不去踢球，我可以现在生活过得更好，会好我会比现在好很多。<笑>因为你想，嗯、呃，去年就是我老公整整换了两年了，我已经基本上两年，两年就是没有很重大的事情做，就专门就是说自己小做一点，就是很多生意业务业务方面就没有去。因为你要，你要换弃了一部分大部，所以我说一开始不支持就这样子。就是这样子。因为我说我如果不要放弃那么多时间出去弄，那我们生活可以更好一点。对我们日子日子过得更好一点，就是这样子。<笑>如果我儿子能，就是能感到开心的话，我们就变成现在就过过小日子而已，就是说也过得开心。Certainly love football. Um, the opportunity to win the World Cup for them is, is the ultimate sporting dream.、Um, we used to ask the question all the time before the Beijing Olympics: is which would you rather, if one were possible, to head the medal table at the Olympics or to win the World Cup? And everyone would answer to win the World Cup because for China that is seen as an impossible dream.、Um, now in that way, the, you know, the Chinese are very mercurial. They are quite happy to laugh at their own team, and in fact.、Um, It's probably the only way you can survive, given the,、uh, the team's performance in, in over the last 30 years. So the Chinese team comes into massive criticism、uh, from the press, but also、uh, from the people,、uh, almost continually.、Um, it's become such a joke that, in fact, the only way to deal with it is to laugh at it. 二零零八年奥运会有印象吗？哎，当然有印象。有一场比赛，哪一场？中国队，嗯，对，比利时队。嗯，这场我看过呀。结果知道吗？结果当然知道了。嗯、中国队输了，还吃了两张红牌。对了，嗯、输了还吃两张红牌。是啊。那么作为体育爱好者，作为球迷就要发泄。啊、哦，这要发泄。你们代表中国出去比赛去了，嗯、你们都干什么了？啊！嗯，出去拼成这样，你给我们挣回是什么来了？挣回什么来？挣回什么来？挣回什么来？咱们球员理直气壮，是吧？挣回什么来？挣回什么？拼了命啊！我们还赢两枚红色奖章，这是奖章，不要脸！红色奖章。那么记者也得报道啊，啊，得报道。报道人家就说了，嗯，你看看，对我们这支优秀的队伍，优秀的队伍，迅速。退出比赛、啊，这种行为啊，大为赞赏。为什么赞赏呢？更多人就说了，嗯，为什么赞赏呢？嗯、因为他们退出比赛呢，多好啊，嗯，就不会影响我们继续观看奥运会的心情了。哎。<笑>
there is a physical difference between Asians and Europeans. Like I, I think, you know, in football, you need to have big thighs, you need to have in Chinese, and big lungs and all this, probably Chinese are not physically very well built for that sport. That's ridiculous. That's something, it's, uh, it's in their head. Uh, uh, um, although I'm sure in this big population there could be some selection of it, right? Yeah, yeah. I think it's in the head. I mean, the Chinese player which I played with was, you know, the physical, the physical, they were really well trained, muscles, they were strong, they were fast, uh, but they didn't feel that themselves. They thought that they were weaker than the Japanese and the South Korean players and the Europeans. Some players were afraid for, of me because I, I wasn't European, I was strong, I was, you know, I was ahead of them in football skills, so they, they became a little bit afraid of it. So it's not that, it's all in your head. The football, most of the football is in your head when you come to a certain level. You can find a few people who, who, can, who can probably be physic physically suitable for the sport. I think you should be able to find them. Zhuo 中国足球<笑><笑> 他就是又爱又恨
，上半场零比二领先，下半场被对方连进四个球，好像遇到黑色三分钟，然后我都气得要把电视机从楼上砸下去了。那个时候，你想想我喜欢足球的那个程度，对不对？对，很狂热。那个年代。就是他们对于足球这个运动，因为足球是世界第一大运动，因为中国还没有出现一个足球方面的巨星。如果哪天出一个，哪怕是中国的梅西，那踢足球的人，我相信就是会有很多。In the late 80s,、uh, there was no league. It was only in 1993、uh, that the CFA decided China needed a professional league, and it was created instantly that year. So really, the development of professional football in China happened in one year, instantly, and clubs were created, rather than the case in Europe, where there's development over many decades. Well, when the the league first started in the first couple of years, I think you know, people were quite hopeful.、Um, uh, the fans were up.、Uh, the television coverage was good. But、uh, very soon it became clear that there were problems in the game. The time I was playing to、uh, 1995, the stadium is full.、Huh? We have 35,000 people.、Um, when we play against Beijing,、uh, play against Guangzhou, it's always full.、Huh? Not because because of any superstar. There's no superstar this time. We are the superstar, and then now、um, it's only eight thousand or ten thousand supporters average in the game、um, for Shenhua or for some teams.、Um, why it's going it's dropped because、uh, you can ask the young people. They think football is not positive anymore.、Uh, it's only. Only the bad news, the the, the negative things happens. You know,、uh, people fix the game, and、uh, yeah, that's that's really really hurt the image of football in uh, uh, the the Chinese football, especially、uh, these seven eight years. It's because、uh, nobody think the result is、uh, is real anymore. <laughs> <音>那个时候，就是说，那个中国赌球，就是说，包括假球，就进入了一个疯狂的、疯狂的时期。呃，运作的模式它里边有很多种，有的是那个俱乐部的领导层和某某俱乐部的领导层，也有是那个那个俱乐部的教练和某某某和另外一个俱乐部教练，呃，还有球员之间。Seems to be some、uh, owners or some、uh, some people in the in the team, they can bet the the result which they can control. Ah,、huh? 最最就是令令人不能接受的是，呃，某某球员买自己球队输，他这样的话，那个他在赌博公司下注，可能下了几十万或者上百万的买自己球队输，输了之后的话，他自他自己在这个呃比赛中就自然而然的他开始踢假球。En er was zoveel druk op die spelers. Iedereen werd zeg maar, als je een fout maakte tijdens een wedstrijd, dan werd je al verdacht. En、uh, ik heb vaak genoeg van van de eigen naar wedstrijden na moeten kijken. Van kijk eens,、uh, ben je zeker dat het、uh, dat dat niet een expresse fout was?、Um, het was daardoor ook heel moeilijk om om、uh, teamspirit te bouwen, te bouwen, omdat iedereen was eigenlijk met zichzelf bezig. After 2002, it became more and more.、Uh... Chaos, I have to say, out of the control. So, a lot of game are fixed, a lot of result are fixed. So, and the police involved very late in the end of the 2010.、Uh, they tried to get some、uh, investigation, tried to get the evidence, which, which my my point of view, which 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 was too late. 新闻三十分，直播继续。辽宁省丹东市中级人民法院今天上午一审宣判一批涉足球系列犯罪案件，黄俊杰、陆俊、万大雪、周伟新等四人分别被判七年至三年零六个月不等的有期徒刑，吕峰等五人被判六年零六个月以下的有期徒刑，广州市众一体育发展有限公司被判三百万元罚金。
，丹东市中级人民法院审理查明：一九九九年至二零零三年，被告人陆俊利用执裁足球比赛的职务之便，为相关足球俱乐部及相关人员谋取不正当利益，先后七次非法收取他人财物，共计人民币八十一万元。Possibly for the first time in China, we saw a very major controversial issue. Uh, fully covered in the press uh, with no censorship, and that I think really speaks、uh, one to the the special position that football takes in society, but also the united view that the cancer of corruption must be cut out of football.、Um, one of the few times I think where government, press, and people were all on the same side of the argument. 在云南昌原的高山峭壁上发现了一幅高山岩画。那从这面岩画和它的照片中，我们都可以看到，这其中有早期人类戏球活动时的画面。这主要说明呢，中国是世界上球类游戏起源最早的地区之一。球迷啊，带着强烈而真诚的足球梦，嗯，去来到佛祖那里。佛祖说：“你是一个善良而真诚的人。”是啊，你又非常虔诚、嗯。有什么愿望，尽管跟我说，我尽最大能力，我满足实现你的愿望。那这很好啊。我有第一个愿望。第一个什么愿望呢？我想盼着我们的房价跌下来，让我买得起房子，住上我自己的家。好、嗯，这倒是现实。佛祖，沉思片刻。是啊，你还有别的愿望吗？好，看来这个不好办、啊。那我还有一个愿望，还有什么愿望？我希望我们的中国足球队啊，冲出亚洲，走向世界。嘿，好远大的愿望！佛祖不加思索地说了一句话：“说什么呢？咱还是谈谈房价的问题吧。”还不如那个。It was a growing frustration that I felt about、uh, that China really got football all wrong.、Uh, rather than building a grassroots system, they just launched a league. Uh, from nowhere in 1993, and then we saw that league、uh, see all kinds of corruption problems. So, coming from Europe, I think well, obviously football has to start at the grassroots. On the other hand, in the Chinese football, there is there is no basis. Um, the training is there nothing? There are no youth competitions. We had, for example, in Shanghai a fantastic complex, ten fields, kunt fields, all the stop and around. We had dus een eerste elftal, een tweede elftal en zeg maar een A1, dus onder 19 elftal. Maar die twee elftal die speelden helemaal geen competitievoetbal. Dus ja, daar is het, er is een profcompetitie, maar daaronder is niks. Dus、uh, 1,3 of 1,4 miljoen of miljoen men, miljard mensen die daar wonen, daar moet natuurlijk veel talent tussen lopen. Ja, ja, ja. 那我们休息一天，不要去好不好？不行。<笑>带你去那个玩好了，不要去。也不行。带你去游泳。不行。真的？为什么？特别想去训练。为什么想去啊？想去。你是要去见小朋友，还是真正要去训练？训练。喜欢踢球吗？喜不喜欢？喜欢。真的？好臭啊！因为我就是以前，我小的时候就是一个理想，因为我小的时候我也踢得很好的，对，是这个意思。因为我是踢左边锋的，所以说那个时候就是，嗯、呃，就是现在我就跟我有的时候跟我母亲说，就是说，嗯、呃，那个时候我母亲也是说，那个时候怎么没让你去
煮送到你足校去。我说那个时候温饱问题解决就好了，就是这个意思。所以说，如果我的孩子有这个喜喜欢，确实这方面还可以，我会就是完就是，也就是相当于帮我完成一个那个自己心愿一样，愿望一样，是这个意思。阿里汉，阿里汉，阿里汉，他不是在荷兰吗？不是，他他零零二年、零四年就在中国了，是吧？我知道他，他是荷兰很有名的一个足球国家队运动员。对，我认识的，还有一个。呃呃，他在在中国执教过天津泰达队，天津康师傅，呃，中国就是中超的那个俱乐部，知道吧？还在重庆立方执教过，他一共执教过三个地方，呃，三个呃两家俱乐部一一一次国家队在中国，一共执教过五年，呃，呃呃，中国人叫他阿里汉，嗯、呃。阿里汉，我挺喜欢的，他的技术跟贝克汉姆差不多。你跟他说一下，非常好的。我看过他的这个简介，来中国以前，他那有一脚任意球，直接从中间开球的地方直接打过去了，直接射进去了。他做球员可以的，但是做教练，我觉得他可能就是，就是可能不适合中国的这种，呃，就是还是可能有些东西不太了解中国的这个球员的。Alles artificial, hè, hier. Zo'n gras is allemaal te moeilijk. China is speciaal. China is niet zo even naast de deur en zegt van, ze zijn hetzelfde als wij zijn. Dat is niet zo. De hele manier van, van leven, de manier van uh, uh, zaken doen, uh, wat er ook is, uh, auto rijden, uh, het, het, ja, het, het, het is Chinees. Als ik denk aan techniek, uh, fysiek, is fantastisch. Dus als ik alleen al denk aan sprongkracht, snelheid, snelkracht, uh, ballen je links en rechts spelen met hoofd, dat hebben ze allemaal. Alleen ja goed, als je daar geen voortzetting aan kunt geven op het veld met 11 tegen 11, dan heb je er zo weinig aan. Het Chinese voetbal, de Chinese spelers, die zijn wat, uh, ja, wat, met, hebben wat minder discipline dan uh, in Japan en Zuid-Korea. Ja, er dus wordt veel, worden veel, uh, heel veel slidings gemaakt, tackles gemaakt. Soms denk ik van uh, waarom doen ze dat? Uh, ook duels waarvan de kans 20% is dat ze, dat ze die winnen. Maar ja, dat doen ze denk ik vooral om te laten zien hoe moedig ze zijn. En kijk mij eens van hoe ik geef alles. Uh, on the field, the, most of the players just wanted, you know, to be offense players and you know, to score goals and be the heroes. And uh, and uh, the defense wasn't that important. Their eyes was mostly on the ball. That you know, they haven't didn't have the split vision on the field. So sometimes it was like when you, when you see young players coming out on the football field for the first time, they all chasing for the ball. At the moment, bepaalt wat ze doen. There is niet een wat je in schaken dus echt moet hebben, dat je zoveel zetten vooruit moet denken, dat heb je in voetbal toch ook wel. Dat je dus een beetje meer moet denken als dat er in werkelijkheid op dat moment zich afspeelt. Waar zijn de anderen? Hoe staan ze? Waar zijn ze? Nou, dat hebben ze dus niet. Een voetbalintuïtie, een voetbal lezen, een wedstrijd onder ze herkennen, ja, dat kun je niet leren. Dat gaat alleen maar uh, door je ervaring en uh, dan moet je het ook nog in je hebben, maar dat gebeurt met de jeugd. Daar, daar start het. Nou, daar heb je dus heel weinig hier. Daar hebben ze dus moeite mee. Wij wonnen wel samen, maar verliezen deden wij niet samen. Als, er, als wij niet wonnen, als er dus verloren werd of geen goede uitslag, dan werd er altijd gekeken wie ze de schuld konden geven. En dat was daar heel belangrijk. Hè. Dus, en daardoor was het ook ja, een hele, voor mij een hele aparte beleving. Ze hebben een hele andere logica. Halverwege het seizoen hadden wij veel blessure. Dan wordt er in Nederland wordt er geëvalueerd. Waar zou het dan kunnen liggen? Misschien trainen we te hard. Misschien is die niet zo erg belastbaar als de andere spelen. Misschien is de arbeidsrustverhouding niet goed. Maar daar 
uh, daar is het zonder zonnepardon, wordt dan uh, de fysieke trainer ontslagen. Want ze denken dat ligt aan hem. Hè? Dus ja, uh, en in dat opzicht zijn er ook hele, nog, nog mooiere of nog, nog meer voorbeelden dat ze gewoon hele andere logica hebben. Uh, er waren vier spelers van ons die hadden griep. Uh, wie krijgt de schuld? De, de, de dokter. Hè? Als er een auto kapot is, krijgt een chauffeur de schuld. Dus ja, de, de, hè? dus ja. I know at this, uh, uh, this training camp in Kunming, after, I think we, were, we spent four weeks at that place, uh, I think that. And after maybe two and a half, three weeks, the, the players were start talking about my hair. And you know, I, I didn't understand what they, were, what they meant. I just thought that they were, you know, playing around for a bit. But then after a while, uh, the interpreter, he said that, uh, you know, that you have to cut your hair if you're going to play in the league. And I was, ah, oh, don't be really, you're ridiculous. It's not going to happen. Why? And, and uh, after a while, they really got, um, got mad at me. And, uh, you know, things start happening around me. So they come, came out with this brilliant idea that two uh, hairdressers coming up. And then, they, you know, they, you know, blow the hair and then, you know, trying to curl it so it doesn't touch your shoulder. It's still as long, but, you know, you do it. So I look like a, you know, Barbie. Doll, <laughs> kind of away when I went out for the first game. <laughs> it was really funny. I think they were in there for 30, 40 minutes, you know, doing my hair before a <laughs> league game, the first game. I mean, it's a perfect way to, you know, concentrate on, on, the, on the game. <laughs> Ribbon,就是什么时候能拿世界冠军?哦,拿世界冠军。上帝非常严肃地告诉他。嗯,嗯,嗯,三十年以后。三十年。心里很高兴。啊,但是日本教练呢,比较中,感情比较丰富了。
uh, attitude uh, where senior officials may be appointed for only three or four years. So they're really looking for solutions that they can, they can show within three or four years. But the solution may require 20 years or 30 years. But there's no official within the government system who can afford to follow a project that takes 20 or 30 years to come to fruition. He needs to have results in two or three years. And as a result of that, we've had a continuous uh, succession of policies that are short-term policies that can never work. So we're really lacking anyone to take responsibility for the whole game in China. So until China can look long term at the issues in football, I'm afraid there will never be any improvement and we will just continue to go round and round in a circle of short term failures. Ja, de meeste clubs zijn uh, uh, eigendom van privé-eigenaren. Die zijn niet zo gebaat bij de toekomst. Die denken vandaag en morgen, die willen vandaag investeren in het eerste elftal. Het eerste elftal is het vlaggenschip. Um, dat is hun persoonlijke uithang. Uh, Bord, zeg maar. Dus investeren in de toekomst, in accommodaties, in goede trainers, dat, ja, dat is daar nog niet. The money is not the problem in, the, in this country. So the investor come, you see. And a lot of uh, sponsors, a lot of people, they don't know what is football, but they, they know how to buy the players <laughs> with a ridiculous price. You know? That's resulted in a number of star players coming to China, and particularly we think about Anelka and Drogba. And for a very short time, the, the thinking was that maybe this was a, bit, a new dawn for Chinese football. They, they say it's positive for the, for the league, but I, I don't think it's a positive just for, for maybe one season uh, to get a little bit audience into the stadium. But they have no football genetic, no, no football cultural. You, you cannot hold this kind of fans, uh, which they, they just come to see Dropa as a, as a film star. So the owner of the Shanghua is a, doing the video game, you know, the online video game. It's all commercial. It's nothing about football. Because he used Dropa and uh, Anelka as a, as a spokesman for the video game. They are not player, they are actor. As a spokesman, they are perfect. As a player, they are not bad. As a football element, there's zero. You can't bring in just foreign big stars and think that everything is going to, you know, solve. They just want to go there to collect the money and then they go home. They don't bring anything to the Chinese football. Less than a year later, Anelka and Drogba have both gone. Uh, so it may well have been a flash in the pan, a one-year wonder that was used by a, a maverick and eccentric club owner uh, to generate more PR. And that looks like now actually what may have happened. It's only commercial, commercial, commercial. It's like uh, we need another things happen in Chinese football. Not only burning the money and, uh, you know, it's, it's a business, okay. For sure it's a business. And, uh, but I don't, I don't see any progress for, for the future. The main things they, they need to do is to use education.
，因为走上工作岗位之后，各种各样的苦，各种各样的困难，都会朝你迎面而来。然后你怎么样去克服这个困难，对不对？这个很重要。谁以后想做足球明星啊？<笑>对对呀、啊，对呀、啊，对呀、啊，嗯，这个问题听到了。对啊，你们想回答一下吗？那你是为什么？嗯，以后想那个像呃踢点球赚点钱，然后养养养养养养养养养养养养但是来到我们学校的这些家长，他也有想法。第一个呢，有一些家长觉得他自己很喜欢，他觉得这个足球这个运动，他在他的身上，他没有实现他的这个梦想，有可能要把这个梦想或者这个愿望，在他的儿子这一个这个呃身上能够实现。所以呢，他带着自己的这个呃希望和理想，呃，来培养自己的孩子。小孩子都是这样子，争强好胜，比赛踢输了他会哭，经常会这样子。那我觉得，因为他以前胆子很小的，现在踢了球以后开朗很多，就是放得开，就是说，呃，对他的以后的成长以后会很很很大的帮助。对小孩子太溺爱了，就是觉得足球是一个很危险的运动，但我觉得很可笑。你看，在中国，竟然没有几个人。你看街上，在公园里，基本上看不到小孩子在踢足球。目前在中国，就是受各种方面因素影响，不单单是国内的因素，家长也也是占一半的因素。就是说，嗯、呃，觉得这个运动太辛苦啦，太危险啦，会影响学习。你看，我们我们中国现在的，就是说，嗯、呃，都在上完课了，还是参加补习班。就像我刚刚说的。嗯，预测的话，我最近的、啊，我只能说看到杨坤、Kevin 这一批孩子能不能踢到，踢到职业队，就是说有可能没有没有办法踢到世界杯，就是我打个比方，就是说。If China doesn't change the system,、uh, we will continue over the next 20 years to see a series of three or four year short term solutions that, that, that are believed can provide results for the, the incumbent leader at that time.、Uh, I've been saying it for 25 years, I will probably be still saying it in 20 years time. Unless there is a 30 year plan for Chinese football, which really starts at the grassroots, at schools and at community clubs, nothing, no amount of tinkering at the top will ever change the fact. Uh, that an inverted pyramid will not work. We have to have millions of kids out playing the game for fun before there's any hope of developing higher level players. They are great to organize things in, in, in China when it comes to politics and meetings and, uh, and uh, celebration thing. They are great they, they, because they really get put in effort to, to that. But when it comes to football, It seems like they don't use the same skills to do that, and,、uh, and I think it, it won't be a problem if they really decide that we want to do this. That they can do it. The only way to do is、uh, to to let the kids love this game, but still a lot of things to do because for for new pitches for the new、um, members.、Uh, Still struggling,、uh, but I think in the the, the future is bright. Because I think, because it also fulfilled my one wish. How to say? Normal schools are based on football as their specialty. So their school, uh, is out of many talent. When I see it, I am also happy. Because I have been a 
没有没有成才，就是觉得，就是就是老天爷为什么那么不公平，对不对？因为就生不逢时也有可能，对不对？对他如果能踢上去，那当然是也完成我的心愿，对不对？是这个意思。